If you've ever walked along the remains of a Viking longship or stepped into an ancient wooden building, you've probably noticed something astonishing. The wood, in many cases, still survives after centuries. While modern timber often rots within a decade, Viking wood endured rain, snow, and the harsh northern climate without any synthetic chemicals. How did they do it? The answer lies in a combination of observation, patience, and natural treatments that transformed ordinary timber into almost indestructible material. Today we're going to uncover these techniques and show you how to apply them in your own backyard to create wood that lasts for decades, if not centuries. Vikings carefully selected the right trees at the right time. The longevity of Viking timber began long before it was cut. Craftsmen selected trees based on type, age, and season. Softwoods such as pine, spruce, and fir were harvested during late winter or early spring, when sap levels were at their lowest. Low sap wood absorbs less moisture, naturally reducing the risk of rot. After felling, timber wasn't rushed into construction. Instead, it was air-dried slowly for months or even years. This allowed the fibres to harden evenly, producing wood that was both strong and stable. For modern backyard projects, this principle remains crucial. Using wood that is properly seasoned, even for small garden beds, benches or sheds, prevents warping and cracking and provides a strong base for any further treatment. Avoid shortcuts like direct heat or artificial drying, which can damage the wood's internal structure. Once the wood was dried, Vikings often used a technique that might surprise you, controlled charring. By lightly burning the outer layer of timber, they created a thin, carbonized shell that repelled moisture, insects, and fungi. The inner wood remained strong and flexible, while the charred exterior acted as a protective barrier against decay. This technique was applied to longship hulls, roof beams, and outdoor structures, allowing them to survive centuries in harsh northern climates. In your backyard, this method can be applied with a propane torch or a small controlled fire. Hold the flame close enough to blacken the surface without burning through. Then brush away loose soot before moving to the next step. Charring is particularly effective on fence posts, outdoor furniture, and raised garden beds, giving them a natural defense against the elements. Charring alone wasn't enough to ensure timber longevity. Vikings supplemented it with natural oils and resins, most commonly pine tar, extracted from slowly burning pine wood or resin. This substance penetrated deep into the wood fibres, creating a water-resistant barrier, while also acting as a natural antiseptic that prevented mould and rot. In some cases, multiple coatings were applied over weeks or months, allowing the wood to fully absorb the protective compounds. The result was timber that could endure rain, snow, and constant moisture without deterioration. For backyard applications, pine tar, linseed oil, or tongue oil can replicate these effects. If you warm the substance just a bit and rub it into the wood fibres, especially focusing on surfaces exposed to rain or heavy use, you'll notice a real difference. 
outdoor furniture, garden beds, wooden tools, and even firewood benefit from this treatment, giving them a level of durability that, honestly, modern chemicals often struggle to achieve. Even treated wood can fail if it's poorly designed. The Vikings understood that proper joinery was just as important as wood treatment. They used overlapping boards, angled joints, and wooden pegs to distribute stress and prevent water accumulation in seams. Flat surfaces where water could pool were avoided, and wood was allowed to expand and contract naturally. This combination of thoughtful design and surface treatment allowed Viking timber to survive centuries of use. You can apply these principles in backyard projects by slightly angling garden beds, overlapping boards in sheds, and spacing furniture components to encourage drainage. By, you know, Combining these design techniques with treated timber, you can dramatically improve the longevity of your outdoor structures. Now, just imagine constructing a shed, or perhaps a raised garden bed using softwood that's been harvested in winter, slowly air-dried, lightly charred, and then coated with pine tar. The result is wood that, well, resists sun, rain, snow and pests far better than ordinary untreated timber. Even, say, firewood stored using these methods remains dry and decay-free, providing reliable fuel for many years to come. Outdoor furniture, fencing, and garden structures all benefit from these techniques, turning ordinary timber into heirloom quality material. Viking wood preservation wasn't a secret or magic. It was observation, patience, and the intelligent use of natural resources. Applying these methods today allows you to build wood projects that resist decay, avoid harsh chemicals, and achieve a level of durability that modern builders rarely match. By embracing Viking methods, seasonal harvesting, slow drying, surface charring, natural oiling, and intelligent joinery, you're not just building structures. You're connecting with centuries of craftsmanship and ingenuity. Whether you're a history enthusiast, a survivalist, or simply someone who wants long-lasting natural wood in your backyard, these techniques provide a practical, timeless solution. If you found this guide valuable, Subscribe to our channel for more historical insights and practical backyard wisdom. Share this video with fellow enthusiasts so the Viking approach to wood preservation continues to inspire projects around the world. Apply these lessons today and you'll see how ordinary timber can survive rain, snow and centuries of use, just like it did for the Vikings.